Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I just want to share the words of the living God which came to me on the on February date 4. The Lord spoke with me and in this day I was in, I was in fasting. I was still in fast, in fasting and the word of God came to me. When the word of God came to me and I, I and I heard a voice telling me to write what the spirit of the Lord through the spirit of wisdom is speaking through me. When I took the vo uh, when I took my, my I, I took my phone I just wrote everything the spirit of God directed me. Now the Lord was speaking through me writing through this letter to all the world to all the earth. This is a special message from the Lord God Almighty this year 2015. And before we lead, hallelujah, and before we, before we lead what the Lord spoke spoken to me, I just want us to pray. Mighty Father, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Holy One of Israel, the God of Elijah, and even Abraham and Jacob, you are holy and you are righteous. We come before you, Jehovah, as your children, my Lord. Father, before releasing what you have given me, Jehovah, through the spirit of wisdom, I bless the name of the living God, and I say thank you because of this hour. Because of this hour, you have given us that we may hear this message. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, open your people, spiritual eyes, even spiritual ears, that they may understand, that they may understand what you are speaking in this time. Mighty Jesus, the Lord of Lord, you may now release the anointing of the Holy Spirit over your people, over this recording, over this sound, Lord, that you may touch your people, you may fill them by your glory, fill them by your grace, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We bless the name of the living God, and we ask you, Jehovah, that you may take control over this, in the name of Jesus, we do pray and even believe. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Now, I want to share a message that the Lord God Almighty gave me. It was February. It was February. Date 4, the year 2015. This is what, what I wrote, exactly what the Lord gave me through the spirit of wisdom. The word of the Lord given through the spirit of wisdom. I'm meditating the word of God, praying and fasting. The word of God come to me. I can feel the mighty presence of the of wisdom covering me. I feel it tearing me light light my son. What I'm about to tell you is what is in my heart at this hour. I'm dictating the word of the Lord Jesus Christ as he lights through my hands by the spirit of wisdom. My son Keep watching out, for my coming is light now. Keep looking out through the window of my word. You will see my coming is near. Do not fall like some of my children are doing. The enemy is deceiving them that I am not coming soon. See my son, see how they went back to the world and precious. My son, this, not, this is not the time to sleep. It is time of my coming time of your visitation the time of your visitation is near the time of deliverance i will only take those who are really waiting me day and night only those who keep their garment pure away from the spots of sin i am coming for those who are truly focusing focusing at my coming only those who choose to deny everything for my sake only those who are fasting and praying and praying in my spirit and in truth. My son, I am about to be revealed by my father. I am about to be given to my holy bride. Anytime, I will take my bride from any moment. The preparation of marriage feast has been completed. The great angel 
is holding a great trumpet ready to brew. My father is giving the earth his grace to repent and come to me now before he crossed the door to the grace. I see many, I see many children, I see many, many being saved in this hour. I see many people being saved in this hour of grace. I also see my children rejecting the only grace and departing away from my hand. My son, come and enter in my presence and be safe. Come enter in the ark. I am the ark of these days. I am the door to the ark. Anyone who will miss to enter will suffer great loathe of my father. My son, tell my beloved children to enter now, for tomorrow the door will be shut. Grace and mercy will not last long in this earth. Everything is coming to an end. The grace and time is soon coming to an end. The earth is coming to an end. Even the sun is perishing. My right in this earth will be taken away. My spirit will be taken away soon. And therefore, there will be great darkness and men will walk like, like blind because they have rejected the only way. My son, my son, seek me now that I'm near. Let my children return to me now that I'm found. Tell those who are getting tired of waiting me. Tell them I'm coming soon. Tell them to hold what they have, for my enemy is seeking them, to tear them. My son, this is the hour of deliverance. When Rod and his family were saved, this is the time that my people will be delivered. Many of those who were first will become last. My son, my son, do not listen to the world. It is your time of deliverance. Do not bother even to look behind. Move and keep running, fixing your eyes on me. Don't listen to my enemy. He, he will deceive you if it is possible. He deceived Lord's wife, and now he wants to deceive again my bride in this hour. My son, don't be drawn by cares of this world, neither by worries. See, I am coming soon. Ask everything required to enter heaven. My grace is too sufficient for you. My, life, my love is too big for you. To keep you away from fear. My joy will give you strength to overcome every trials. Ask and it will be given to you. Knock and it shall be open. Seek and you will find. Pray and you will be answered. See, I have loved you with unconditional love. See, I have loved you and chosen you before the creation. What I only ask from you is your heart, your obedience to my will, your faithfulness to my word. I need only your full surrender to me, your full heart to me. Let me be your first in everything. Let me be your first every time you wake. My son, keep your garment lady without any spot, no matter how small the spot is. It will, in, it will uncrane and defile your marriage garments, and my father will not accept anyone with spot or blemish. Keep washing your garment every hour with my blood. Clean up every sin by my blood every hour. Keep on repenting for your garments. You must be holy, for my father is holy. You must be sensitive to my spirit to avoid deception. You must stick to my word, even to death. You must keep up the fire burning with my spirit. You must draw near to me every hour to avoid falling away from faith. You must surrender your life daily in me to avoid losing strength. 
you must seek my will every hour to avoid confusion. My son, at this hour, there is two churches. One is filled with the oil and wine. The other church do not have the oil. They don't have my spirit. Those who lack my spirit will not be raptured. My bride must be one with my spirit, must be one with my word. Her cloth is made of my word. This is the hour of wisdom. Only the wise virgin will be saved. Seek wisdom, my son. Seek wisdom, and my father will freely give you. Seek understanding, and my spirit will help you. Trim up your lamp and guide your, your oil. It takes wisdom for you to maintain your oil and lamp, my son. Seek and pray for my wisdom to keep on watching. Keep your right on using wisdom till I return, for I am coming in, uh, in an hour that you know not. Keep your light on, using wisdom till I return, for I am coming in an hour that you know not. My son, keep praying and watching. I am coming soon. I am the first and the last, the one that gives you wisdom and understanding. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah, speaking through your heart to give my bride this oracle. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I am coming soon. Amen. Hallelujah. I have shared the word of the Lord God Almighty. Now I want to share the coordinating scriptures. In the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 13 to 14, the words of God say this, You are chosen for salvation. We must thank God at all times for you. Friends, you whom the Lord loves, for God chose you as the first to be saved by the Spirit's power to make you his holy people, and by your faith in the truth, God called you to this through, through the good news we preach to you. He called you to possess your share of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. The Bible says this, There will be the shout of the command, the archangels voice, the archangels voice, the archangel's voice, the sound of God's trumpet, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died believing in Christ will rise to life first, then we who are raving at the time will be gathered up along with them in the crowds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Luke 21, verse 34 to 36. The need to watch. Be careful not to let yourself become occupied with too much feasting and drinking, and with the worries of this life, all that day, all that day may suddenly catch you like a trap, for it will come upon all people everywhere on earth. Be on the watch and pray always that you will have the strength to overcome. You will have the strength to go to safely through to go safely through all those things, to go safely all those things that will happen at, and to stand before the Son of Man. Philippians 2, verse 14, 16. Do everything without complaining or arguing, so that you may be innocent and pure as God's perfect children, who live in a world of corrupt and sinful people. You must shine among them, like stars lighting up the sky as you offer them the message of Christ. If you do not so, I shall have reason to be proud of you on the day of Christ because it will show that all my effort and work have not been wasted. The last book, the first, first Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 23 to 24. May the, may the God who gives us peace make you holy in every way and keep you whole being. Spirit, soul and, spi soul and spirit, and body, free from every fault at the coming of the Lord Jesus. He who calls you will do it, because he is faithful. Amen.
So saints, brother and sisters, let us repent and prepare for the coming of Messiah. Because the Messiah is saying that I am coming soon to pay everyone according to what he have done. Shalom, shalom.